Okay, everyone. So here I have my Taihe Gemini monitor. This is the 1080p touchscreen version. Um, I don't have the touchscreen connected right now. However, I just found out something interesting. So you see these buttons over here? They should trigger the volume and the backlit. And the up button on the back, it has the backlit symbol. And the down button here, it has the volume button. So I thought that pressing it, when, when you press them, uh, it should change either the volume or the backlit. But you can see that it triggers the volume. Now, the thing is that I just found out that if I long press the button, then it adjusts the backlit. So I, I didn't knew that and <laughs> I found this out because I was going to turn off the display and instead of turning off, um, I mean, instead of pressing the power button, I pressed the volume button and turns out that that's the way of triggering the backlit. So you can see that simply pressing the button, it just triggers volume. But if I long press the button, it goes to backlit, uh, to, to adjust the backlit. So pretty much, I just wanted to show you this, huh? Because this display didn't came with a manual. So, yeah, I was using the uh, control, the remote control to adjust the backlit when it's a little too bright sometimes. So, there you got it. Yeah, just long press the button and it will change the backlit. And to change the volume, you just simply press the button normally. So yeah, pretty much that's it. I hope you find this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment on it, share it with your friends, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And hopefully you've already received your Taihe Nemini monitor. I know that some of you are still waiting for it. Um, so I um, tell me your experiences so far with the displays and shipping and all that stuff. So thank you for watching, everyone.